When it comes to software and calculations, there are things to consider, like what are the algorithms that are being used um, within the dimensional and geom geometrical metrology world. Um, there's often a difference between what the standards say that that are the definitions of, of what the the that the drawing indications might mean, and what's usually used in, in measuring equipment. Uh, the drawing indications are usually based on an algorithm that we call minimum zone, whereas most measuring equipment is based on, on an algorithm we call least squares, and, and they fundamentally come to different results. I, I will shortly show you sort of how those work and, and, and what the difference is between those two. Let us say that we have uh, a part with a hole in it. So this is the corner of the part and sort of with a great magnification of, of the form error and then there's the hole in the part here. And if, if we say we're trying to determine where the center of the hole is, compared to the corner of the part. Then the, what that means in, in, uh, in drawing torrenting is usually that the requirement applies to an algorithm that puts perfect features on the outside of, of, the, of the real feature. So it, it covers a, let's do that again, it do, does a, straight line that's outside here, another straight line that's outside here, and that defines where the corner is, and then it has the largest inscribed circle inside the hole, and so that defines where the center of the hole is, and then this distance and this distance gives the, the coordinates of, of where that hole is. And so the green line is what a drawing requires. But that's usually not what uh, measuring equipment, for example, a coordinate measuring machine does. A, a coordinate measuring machine tends to put in sort of an average line here and an average line over here. And sort of an average circle through this hole. And so, in principle, that leaves us with a, with a different center. And so, the coordinates that our, for example, a coordinate measuring machine would tell us would be based on this distance and this distance. And so, the red line is what a coordinate measuring machine, we also call the CMM, CMM does, unless we tell it something separate and special. It's sort of what it does by default. And there's a lot of good reasons for, for using the, the least squares algorithm, because that is what it uses. So it creates sort of average features. And it... Um, it converges quickly and, and it, it's, it's less noisy and, and more repeatable if you use a low data density. So there's a lot of good reasons for it, but in principle it's different from what a drawing usually requires. And so we have to be aware of that if our measuring equipment makes calculations a different way than what um, the requirements are and that what we're really being asked to, to measure. So that, that's how software and calculations, or it's one way that software and calculations 
can be a factor in, in the uncertainty um, estimation. And, and at least in, in principle. There's also a question of the, the number of significant digits, um, not just number of bits, whether it's 16, 32, or 64, but also how the calculations that go into the measuring result are made. Because if, if, a, if for example, a, a value, values, two values are measured and di divided by each other and resulting in a very small value, and maybe that's then multiplied by a large amount. And so along the way, we, we might lose resolution in, in the measurement, even though maybe the, the incoming signal had, had very good resolution. And then, of course, there, there can be bugs and errors in, in software. Uh, usually, we don't consider errors as part of the uncertainty calculation because um, the uncertainty goes with the process and, and bugs and errors are, are usually not considered part of the process. But at least it's something to consider as, as part of the, the uncertainty uh, estimation and, and the review of, of the measuring process.